Hello everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. So I had this awesome video planned today with Brady Lawing. Uh, if you remember him from last week's video, he was the season two champion of American Air Gunner on the Outdoor Channel. Unfortunately, I was trying some new microphones out and I lost the audio on the beginning portion of it. We do have audio there towards the middle. So I'm just ad-libbing the beginning here. What we decided to do was compare head-to-head -head an Impact FX slug gun to a CZ455 like an Accurize 22. My rifle that I'm shooting was built by DP Gunworks. It was just rebarreled. That was it. And I am shooting Lapua Cinerex. The trigger is not factory. It does have a Mr. Fly trigger. It's an older trigger and it is topped off with a low pulled um, Mark 5 HD. Now in Brady's case, he is shooting his slug gun. He's shooting 36 grain uh, projectiles. They're 22 caliber and he is shooting them at about 940 feet per second. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot these head to head on bench rest targets at 50 yards. We're going to do a five shot group and then we'll go to 100 yards head to head and we'll do a five shot group as well. We'll see what happens and we'll let you guys decide. All right, so we are getting ready to go. We have a target down there at 50 yards. Brady is going to shoot the middle top target, which is target one. I'm going to shoot the top right target, which is target two. We're going to alternate shots. Uh, you want to go first since you're number one. I'll go ahead and get loaded up. Right. And we'll try not to influence each other's shots. Yeah, so I'll just shoot, and then you can shoot when you're ready, and then we can load at the same time. All right. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and close my bolt so I'm already ready on the shot. Okay, on you, Brady. Mm, pretty close. Oh, I think I might have got yeah. you. What yeah, we're going to do, guys, is we're going to put this on sub MOA. We're going to measure the group size, but either way, really impressed with that. And we're gonna let you take a look at what these slugs look like. Sure. All right, you good with that? Yeah. It is what it is. Is <clears throat> that that one just a little left? Yeah, but it was a good tight group. Yeah, so it it's closer to the size of a thirty cal than what you think because yep. these are a lot smaller. But the pellets will do better at fifty. Okay, pellets do better at 50, but that's going to win at 100, right? I think so. That's yeah. what you're betting on. All right, so let me move the target to 100 yards. Wait just a moment. So guys, what we've done is we moved the target to exactly 100 yards. We did do a cider off uh, camera here just to make sure that we were close because this is not something I normally shoot. Brady did the same just to confirm. Now remember, we are looking at the group size. It doesn't matter for a little bit left or right, and we'll just see what happens. So we're going to do the exact same thing again at 100, and at 100, we're going to go for that top target. You shoot the middle, number one. I'll shoot the far right, number two. Sounds good. We'll just alternate shots. And don't shoot my camera down range, and uh, <laughs> I think this will be good. All right, I'm going to close my bolt, and then whenever you're ready, let me know, and I'll settle down. All right, yeah, I'm ready whenever. All right, go ahead. Oh, nice. Pretty close to the same wind drift. Oh, I think that was the same hole. Yeah, that was, that was in there. Are you good? I was waiting on you. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> try not to move. Okay, Sorry, so. Oof. Well, that sounded like a hot round, didn't it? We know we yeah, got one more. Went low. <laughs> All 
Alrighty, is that five? Yeah. I think it's five. You're All right, thriller. Brady, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's a little more spread out. Yeah? Uh, my wind was different, like each shot. You want to do five more? Yeah. That's entirely up to you. Sure. All right, so let's just stay on the... Uh, I don't know if I have my camera down there to catch the bottom targets. So just for the viewers that might want to see it, let's just do five more at the same five at the same target we were shooting at. All right. I mean, if you've got air, might as well. You said you got like 40 shots, right? Yeah, and I brought two tanks. Oh, nice. So I can show how to feel too, so. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm intrigued by those things, man. I swear, I just, I just shot a group, like I zeroed this ammo the other day and shot a group and it was like an inch at a hundred, like. Yeah. It's like on my thumbnail. So at the same target? Yeah, because I can actually see my camera down yeah. range. Or we got that, that black square right above? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to aim for dead center again All still. Right. All right. On you. Hmm. One more. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. So I guess I, I guess what we're seeing today, now I know every day is different, yeah. is while those are extremely accurate it's still not quite to the level of a Precision 22. Yeah. Would you agree or no? Yeah. My last uh, five were pretty good. My last five were really good. Yeah. Uh, sub minute, you think? I had four and probably like a half inch and then one maybe another half inch to the right. So yeah, probably right at an inch. Nice. Well, you know, I really wanted to bring this to the viewers because so many of us have questions about these air guns. And the thing is, is like, you know, we, we've got one of the best in the world shooters, literally, <laughs> right? Whether it's real guns or air guns. And... No, I mean that, and and so I'm bringing you guys content of somebody that really knows this platform, and this is probably as tweaked as much as you can, because this is what you compete with, right? For sure, yeah. And while this is accurate and it does shoot very well, it is not like some of my Voodoo's and Remexes, which have the full heavy contour barrel, you know, 120 straights and all of that. Uh, I'm not downplaying this, but I'm just saying, you know, a 10-shot accuracy group, if it's holding a group, remember I always said, if you can hold one inch, 10 shot groups at 100 yards, you're good enough to win any competition out there, and then it's going to be you reading the wind. So I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to take some pot shots that uh, we'll see if we can make some impacts at two and 300 yards. Uh, I do need to confirm some data because I don't have any data for this rifle, and you probably already know that in your head, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, maybe even hit the 350 out there. I don't know. We'll see. There's a 499. There's a, four, there's a 500? Yeah. All right, we'll see if we can do it. Go for it. All right, sounds good. All right, so we're in between stages. Brady needs to refill the tank, so we're going to look at this process and see how it works. So I guess all of these companies make bags for the tanks. Yeah, so Saber Tactical is the company that makes this. Um, I got an old fire tank bottle from the local fire department. Okay. This is a slow flow valve that I got. Here's the hose for it. I keep bags over the end just to keep dust out of the... The foster fittings. Got it. So it's just a quick and then attach. It goes right here for the impact. And I forgot to mention earlier, this is considered a PCP air gun, which is like pre-charged pneumatic air rifle. Yep. Uh, and then yeah, just open her up. And it basically and that's fills the fill gauge. Got it. Where are you trying to get to right now? 300 uh, bar? Yeah, so for this gun, I can go to 300, which this tank will probably get me about 285 or so. And uh, So this only takes about 20 seconds, and you're ready to go again for another yeah, 40 shots. Not, not too long. Pretty quick. Yeah, I can see the, uh, the attraction to that. That's actually pretty cool. 
shut it. Bleed off the pressure. Bleed the line. I'm done, ready to shoot again. That was quick, pretty impressive, pretty, thanks. It's pretty sweet. All right, so when these guys get done shooting and making all this racket that they're making, um, I'm gonna go two shots at 200, here we go. I'm gonna wait till they're quiet. All right, here we go. Impact one, impact two. Your turn at 200. Impact one. Hold on. That was an impact. Yeah. They're not going to be able to hear that on screen. So now we're going to go to 300 yards. We'll go 300 yards. And guys, we do have a little bit of wind moving down there. Let me try to shoot while there's a break in this. Here we go. Impact one. Impact two, 300 yards. All right. Brady's turn at 300. Uh, I think it was just low. Miss. Miss. I'll give you two more. Oh, just right. Just left. Ah, oh, just low. Oh, just high. Just, just right. right. Gosh. Just left. I see it. Dang. So, guys, uh, you know, no reason for us to shoot at four and 500 yards. I think. All right, so I think what we're seeing is that cone of fire is just getting larger because remember, we're using the best of the best here with one of the best shooters out there. It is calm today on the wind, and so I kind of see what you're talking about when yeah. you shot that NRL 22X match, for sure. especially seeing the impacts. But they've come a long ways from anything i ever remember and while i think shooting against the same type of platforms is definitely doable i don't think it's going to compete against a precision 22. what are your thoughts on it brady oh, i agree uh in the airgun world there's definitely a place for them um like head to head there's just ballistically 22 is better um you know powder i mean and everything that's been around for however many hundred years <laughs> yeah exactly uh, and this, this is, is new still, and this you know, is only going to get better for sure, yeah. So they still got a long way to go, but I mean, if you looked at where air guns were three years ago and looked at where they are now, you would be blown away. Yeah. Really. I mean. So what does this uh, setup right here cost? Uh, with everything on it. Yeah. Probably five grand. About five grand. Yeah. Hey, you know what though? Bone you know, stock. all you had to do is win one TV show, and you can buy a couple <laughs> of them, right? Well, Brady, thanks for coming out. I think we're going to do a little bit more shooting, but uh, probably not air guns. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, go check out Forgotten Country Outdoors. I appreciate each and every one of you that went over to his channel already and subscribed. I think you got another 50 subscribers. Yes, sir. And, you know, like I said, just helping him out, trying to give him some tips on getting his channel started. Maybe you can start doing some reviews on uh, maybe yeah, EOTechs sure. or things like that. Anything you want to say before we close it out? Uh, no, it's been fun. All right. Uh, well, do it again. Well, guys, you take care. I hope everyone has a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.